<clears throat> if as you begin to you're, you take a Baptist I'll go back to my original premise you take a Baptist person okay they believe in baptism in water they believe in the new birth they believe in the born again experience uh, they generally I'm talking about their their general conference what they say they believe they don't believe in tongues don't believe in gifts don't believe in the power of God in that way they believe God has power and he can use it when he wants to right but you never know really when he wants to and you just pray and say Lord if it be thy will but that, that's what they believe now since they believe in a new birth can they get born again yeah why because they're in tune with that right uh, you know do they believe in baptism yep you know, do they believe that that should be uh, death, burial, and resurrection to walk in newness of life. Yes, they believe that. You know, but it's different degrees. Do they believe in healing? Nope. Boom. Okay, that's a, that's a software that is still locked. It's in there. It is in there. All right? Gifts of the Spirit. Guess what? It's in there. When they got it, it was downloaded in them, but it's locked until they get the key that unlocks that. All right? And that key is choosing to go after truth and believing the Word of God Regardless, most people will believe their group over the Word of God because they want to fit in. And so you have to believe truth and go after truth first and foremost. Now, <clears throat> notice, as I'm talking, the Spirit of God in you. Now, your head may have been taught different. All right? When you're taught something, it's your head that gets taught. If someone's talking, it's your head that registers. And if you're thinking, if we put uh, probes and electrodes and things like that on you and sensors on you, then as we're talking, we would see things firing off if you're engaged, right? If you're listening and paying attention, even if you disagree, it would still be firing off things in the brain. Now, that's because that's where the activity is going on. So learning comes through the brain. It comes through soul. It, see, from God, learning comes by the spirit and then out to the soul. From the earth, learning comes through the soul and what it, we try to say get it down into the spirit. Technically, it doesn't go down to the Spirit. It, just, it sits here. Now, if you're born again, the Spirit says, that's true, that's not true. That's, and so, you have these things going on in you. If you're well indoctrinated, it will quieten the voice of the Spirit to where you won't hear it. If, it and it depends on how well, how well doctrinated you are. Indoctrinated. Now, <clears throat> the places to become well indoctrinated usually are seminaries. Right? Seminaries are like the epitome of indoctrination. Okay, I'm not saying they're bad because there could be good indoctrination, but generally they're not. So they indoctrinate you into their belief, not into the scripture. And they will tell you, here's what the scripture says and here's what it means. They will not tell you to go study it for yourself and come to a conclusion because they want to guide you to the conclusion. Right? Now, <clears throat> when, you get, when, when you're born again and you start learning, then your, your head is taught. Now, if it's taught right, wonderful. If it's taught wrong, not good. The problem is, if you're truly born again, even if your head was taught wrong, when you hear truth, your head will go, well, that's not what I was taught. That's different from what I... But your spirit will be saying, that's right, that's right, that's right. right? That's the witness of the spirit witnessing to the truth of the word of God. Not to the truth of persuasive words or excellence of speech, the way Paul would say it. It's not that. It is the, the truth of the word of God that's being preached. And to that degree, your spirit can agree with it. All right? If you're truly born again. Now, 